Hi, I'm Nick Raines. I'm the Principal Instructor for Lycra Academy Australia. And I'd like to introduce the first of a series of videos called Behind the Photograph, where I look at one particular image that I've taken and explain some of the thought processes, some of the techniques, just the background to the photograph. Often I'll have chosen those pictures to illustrate a particular technique. In this particular case, in this particular image, which I shot in Myanmar not that long ago, the technique I want to discuss is the choice of shutter speed. Now, if you look carefully at this picture, you'll see that the water is whizzing past the boat and it's, the water is drawing lines rather than being sharp droplets. This is implied movement, and by using a shutter speed of maybe a quarter of a second or a third of a second, something like that, depends how fast you're going, you can depict the water as moving rather than static. But at the same time, the boat and the driver has been captured sharply. They're not blurred at all. Now that means that I've had to hand hold very carefully a picture at a quarter of a second, which is not that easy. Now you can't use a tripod because in a boat, and it's only this wide, the boat, you really have no room for that. So I've taken advantage of the new SL2's inbuilt body stabilizer body image stabilizer, um, which is new to this particular camera, and it allows me to hand hold pictures at much lower shutter speeds than normal. So I was, I was stood up in the front of the boat, elbows carefully tucked, carefully holding the camera, gentle squeeze of the shutter button, shooting at one quarter of a second and allowing that water to blur, but at the same time keeping the driver of the boat sharp. But there's one other thing which is the key to this picture. That's this little gizmo here. This is a strong neutral density filter. Now, on a sunny day, there's too much light to use shutter speeds as slow as a quarter of a second. You'd probably be, be really pushing it to get down to a 30th or a 60th of a second in full midday sun. This reduces the amount of light that's coming into the lens by 10 whole stops. So a 60th of a second would probably end up being about a quarter of a second or half a second, depending on which aperture you use. And I think in this case, I actually had to take the eyes up a little bit to make sure I still had enough depth of field. But the key thing here is choosing the shutter speed that you need for the effect that you want to capture. In this case, I had to use a filter to get the quarter of a second exposure to allow the water to blur to give me the sense of movement. So by pre-visualizing the shot, I've applied the appropriate gear and the appropriate camera technique to get the camera, to get the photograph that I was looking for.